morning to you ladies and gents out there. Welcome to another um, video sea fishing with Paul. Do excuse the leathery face, but I've been up really early yesterday and really early today. I'm down at a place called Pevensey, Norman's Bay, um, all about the history of some big castle. I think to do when the Normans came across, I assume, maybe they landed here, I don't really know the history. Um, first time I've ever been here. Going to do my usual fish, a big rod, a big rod. What am I doing? Get the words out, stupid boy. Um, a big bait, one of them, which is a penneled single squid, two lug worm. Chuck that out. Get the weight size right today. It's 150 grams, not ounces. Last time I think I said this, I said 150 grams. You'd need a truck to get it out there. Um, I'll give you a buzz around the scenery shortly. I'm just gonna get this rod out and uh, see how we get on. Never been down here. Shingle Beach, out onto sand. Apparently snag free, according to all the uh, locals. Fish, flatfish, flounders, dabs, whiting. It would be nice to get any of them because the way my luck's been the last few times, it's not been good. So we'll see how we get on today. Um, and fingers crossed, and I'll keep you updated. Beautiful watercolorist day. Big shout out to Ross again, fellow, missing your chap. Um, miss our uh, little competitions, but I know you're busy with decorating and stuff. And then off in the distance over there is, I think is Sovereign Harbour which is the fancy um, harbour with all the fancy big houses down in Eastbourne. A uh, little campsite, caravan site opposite, and a beautiful sky. Now, as a few of you know out there, I like to um, try out new things, and a load of people said to me, that big long 15 foot continental rod you're using you should be using with one of these. So I'm gonna try one of these, but before I go and get sorted and chuck it out, I'd just like to say a big shout out to George and Louie. I know you watch the, uh, my videos, chaps, and I really, really appreciate you doing that. So when you see this, I hope you've had a nice day and Christmas is not too far away. So let us hope that Santa stroke your very nice father, James, brings you something along that you want and um, my fingers, my toes are crossed for you fellows. So you have a lovely day. Now, this is Oscar. Hello, Oscar. Hello. How are you? Oh, I'm very well. I'm very well. Have you got me any food? I like food. Oh, the smelly nice things in that box. Oh yes, I have things in there. Oh, there are lovely, lovely snacky things in there. Now, Oscar's gonna be very famous now. He is going to be on YouTube, aren't you, Oscar? Oscar on there you go, chap. <laughs> a famous dog. Oh, to be on that fishing boat. He um, seems to have had a, a more successful start to the day than I have. Although, what a beautiful view. Calm sea. Beautiful um, sunlight on the sea. I can see some. Um, maybe there. Maybe he's a a pot fisherman of some sort because I can see as the line he's going along out to my right there's another floating something or other maybe he's picking those up but um, it uh, is absolutely great for my tired old soul to be um, down here today it's beautiful I'm not a great expert with the old uh, thick spool reel so for those of you out there who uh, watch me and I should have the um, bullet system on the uh, the reel but I'm gonna wear my finger out instead but apparently down here we don't need to hurl it too far if we want to catch dad and that is what I would like to try and catch today it would be nice just to have something different from See how we get on with this. Right, let's put the bail arm out, that might help. Oh yeah, it's gone out there. 
Well, that was remarkably easy. It looks like it might rain. It's blowing very grey, nasty stuff towards me. You can see the rainbow and you can see the grey sky that I'm talking about. Ross, if you got your watercolours, mate, there you go, there's a bit of sky for you to paint. Well, what a surprise. It is the fish that without these, I would be wasting a lot of my time, I have to say. So, bloody thank God for the whiting. But there we go, top hook. Handsome little fish, I have to say. Beautiful colours on them, sort of copperies and greys. But uh, thank you, whiting. We're going to put you back, fellow. Oh, yes, please. Yep, right, let's get you back. Uh. with this uh, continental rod. Um, oh, I've got another whiting bite by the looks of it, but very stiff in the butt action and quite whippy on the uh, tip, so it certainly chucks it out. But they do come up with stupid names. It's the Vaselli, which is a lot of you out there will know. Um, it's a budget rod. It's called the Enigma, but then they go on to give it Stupid names, the Furia. How in what's it does it being called a Furia make you catch more fish? If you read all about it in the uh, the brochure or the online brochure, you'd think if you own this rod, everything will go right in your life. Your marriage will get better. You will catch more fish. So far, it hasn't worked, a Furia, but maybe I need to say the words louder out to the fishing gods. I'm watching my rod going dig, 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 dig. And I can feel my heart rate going up. It's, um, we all get that feeling, don't we? It, I don't know what it is. It, you know it's going to be a whiting, but there's always that possibility it could be something else. It could be a dab, it could be a flounder. So I better go and find out. Now, it kind of feels like I've got something on here, but that might just be the, uh, oh no. Got something on here. Hey, hey. Look at this. Oh, oh that uh, bit of skate carcass, I'm downwind of it. It's going half bloody honk. Whoa. Double header. Bless you, Whiting. So, one little fellow here. Let's get you off. And your little brother. If you're using live baits, you would be ideal, but there we go. Beautiful little Whiting. Charming little chaps, I have to say. Very underrated fish, and apparently taste really, really nice, but they are a bloody fiddle faddle to uh, do, so I'm going to go and get them back in. Hey, let's Wash this one out again. Try and save the end of my finger. I wonder if Whiting, when they eat the bait, go, oh look, it's that idiot again. He's got two hooks. It'll be a bit painful for a moment or so. But I'm really hungry. He'll take us off and he'll put us back. I'm not getting my feet wet. Cool, that went out some. I just had a stonker of a bite in the middle old heart. Du -du 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 but yep, it's another whiting. Now, if you were eating them, this little chap is a little bit better in size. He is more going in the pan, but today he's going back in the sea. Oh, right, you, let's get you back. Getting stonking bites fast and furious now. And I would think it's whiting. I've had another couple 
on the beach. I didn't bother showing them to the camera because we all know what whiting looks like. But I suspect these are probably more whiting. I got tired of uh, whiting, whiting and whiting and more whiting and yet more whiting. I've stopped at, I've caught 14 and I've had enough of catching them. Um, I know I moan when I come down here and I don't catch anything and go, please can I have whiting? But today it's just whiting, no um, dabs, no flounders. So I'm going to chuck another big bait out, which is basically whole squids and uh, I put three uh, lugworm on there whipped on, penneled up, um, on a pulley rig, it's a short pulley rig, bosh it out and um, sit here for the next hour or so and see how we get on. Right, both rods are out, big baits on both. Gonna go and take the weight off the old feet, but I keep getting squiddly diddly in my head and some of you uh, older ladies and gents out there probably um, remember um, a program many, many years ago, and I think it was Secret Squirrel, Deputy Dog, um, Yogi Bear, and Yogi Bear always makes me chuckle because whenever I go out on a boat with some friends of mine there's a song we sing about Yogi Bear, Danny Bear and Cucumber Bear which I can't sing now because um, it's quite rude but <laughs> it always, always makes us laugh. I could have edited this out but I thought I'd show you, it might make you laugh. What a stupid man I am. What an absolute and utter pillock. I was looking at my baiting needle box thinking, that's odd, I'm missing a baiting needle. What a complete numpty. Yep, all nicely nibbled, although I would suggest it's probably uh, crabs that have done that. But what a stupid mistake to make, you stupid boy. Busted out again, it was not a dogfish. It's the whiting, I think, ragging at it. They're being really aggressive today, just hurling themselves on the hooks. But I'm a bit tired of catching whiting. But that's the reality of fishing, ladies and uh, gents out there. Um, you go probably 10 times, never really catch that well. And then that one occasion, everything comes together, tide, time, etc., etc. Next trip, be a night trip, going to either Dungeness or Hive. Um, got to pick the right tide. Could be next week, could be the week after. But as ever, it's really appreciated you watching and I, I love the uh, really great comments. It makes me really, really happy. So um, thanks, stay safe, look after yourselves and I'm going to go home and get the raised eyebrows from my wife because I'm going to go and drink beer. But it'll take me about an hour and a half to get home, um, get de guns, etc, etc. So until the next one. If anything changes, I might put another fish up, but I very much doubt it today in my experience. So um, until next time, guys, take care.